Soy fuel in Spanish means I am fuel. But in English, soy fuel is what our next segment's about. Check it out. When you see a soybean, it's easy to think of it as a food for humans or even feed for livestock. But did you know the oil from soy can also feed trucks? Okay, this vehicle may not eat edamame, but with a dash of chemistry, this renewable resource can be used to power big rigs, trains, and even planes. All it needs is a little makeover from a chemical engineer like Katie Boggess. People are typically surprised that you can make fuel out of something like a soybean. The bread and butter of chemical engineering is that you really are just playing with different chemicals, kind of like building blocks. And that is what drew me to this uh, plant life, as it's called. <laughs> Katie began her career at a conventional oil plant, but a desire to end climate change led to her work with sustainable fuels here at World Energy, a partner of show sponsor United Soybean Board. Conventional fuel is essentially just a chain of carbon. We are trying to create that same carbon chain using renewable things like soybean um, or waste fats, oils, and greases. On an atomic scale, soybean oil and fats like it are also chains of carbon known as triglycerides. The triglyceride is three carbon chains against a propane backbone. These molecules can be rearranged to create fuels similar in properties to petroleum-based products without the same high levels of emissions. But you don't have to take my word for it. See for yourself. So right here, we have conventional petroleum diesel. You can see it's kind of yellow. Um, that's more particulate matter that's in it. Here we have our renewable diesel. When the fuels are put to use, the contrast is even clearer. The conventional diesel um, has a lot more soot, a lot more smoke that's coming out of it, and the renewable diesel is burning a lot cleaner. When a fuel burns cleaner, um, you're just putting less emissions out into the air. It's just cleaner air, to put it simply. Today, Katie's gonna show us how this refinery creates a cleaner burning fuel in just a few steps. So this is where we make the renewable fuels. First, Triglycerides are heated up to over 500 degrees Fahrenheit and pumped into a reactor where they're cleaned using H2 gas. These big tall vessels behind me are hydrofeeding reactors. The hydrogen breaks up this uh, triglyceride, gets rid of things like oxygen, um, you know, any other impurities we might see in there. Next, the mixture undergoes two crucial chemical reactions known as cracking and isomerizing. Very similar to the first reactors, we've used hydrogen and then it cracks, which is chopping off the long carbon chains or it's isomerizing, which is basically moving around the carbon to make the fuel properties just a little bit different. By rearranging the carbon molecules, a variety of fuels are created from longer carbon chains of diesel to shorter strands of jet fuel. Splitting these fuels apart is step three. So behind me, you can see we have our main fractionator. And what that's doing is it's separating out the different type of fuels. It's using pressure and temperature to help boil off different types of fuel. The fuels are pumped into their assigned storage tanks. This one alone can hold close to one million gallons. Then it's time for the final step, quality control. One of the important parts is making sure our product's on spec. So let's go take a look at the sample. That means visually checking for impurities or discoloration, then testing fuels for their cold flow properties, like freeze point. How does that look? Pretty good. Since 2011, use of renewable fuels by drivers in California alone have decreased carbon emissions by 81.1 billion pounds. That's like taking every registered car in Illinois and Ohio combined off the road for an entire year. I'm really proud I work in a process that actually is moving the needle and working towards fighting climate change on a day-to-day -day basis. Now you know, that's how a little soybean and a lot of science can help drive us towards a cleaner future. There better be some tofu there. For some reason, I'm kind of hungry. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.